Hi right, YouTube, engine number 100. Well, I just came out of AutoZone and look what I got. Ta-da! Got myself a 14 millimeter hex and I'm gonna take it out and use it to do none other than the front differential oil change. So let's get right into it. All right, fast forward to the shop and here we are. I have removed the bottom cover which um, is held on by about 20 eight millimeter screws. So that is, that's fun a little bit. And I cheated and used my little trusty um, cordless uh, ratchet here. So I'm gonna go up underneath and show you what the big problem is with doing the front differential or what everybody is crying and legitimately so, myself included, crying about in terms of uh, the difficulty level and gaining access to the drain plugs and the field plugs. So we're going to go underneath real quick and I'm going to show you what the issue is. All right, so we're under the car and here is the front differential, this massive guy here. Uh, here is the drain plug, okay, 14 millimeter just like the rear. And here, way up here, in between everything, is the fill plug. So you have the fill plug trapped in here and you have the drain plug trapped in here. So how do you get to them? Well, that is what I'm going to show you next. So let me get back out and I'll show you my little solution. All right, so here is my solution. At first, I thought I was going to be cute and just order this and shortcut it. But nope, that does not fit. That is a 14 millimeter, but that does not fit. It's too long. All right, so here we go. No, we're not gonna be able to use that. So what I am going to do, somebody suggested cutting off these, but that sounds like way too much work. So I'm gonna take this 14 millimeter. I've got a 15 millimeter deep socket, and I'm going to put it in here. Okay, I'm gonna take the tag out, and I'm gonna use this punch and tap this hex out and use it in the drain drain plugs and then just put a wrench on it. So that's how I'm going to do it. All right, I got the tag out. I'm going to put this in the deep socket. And I'm going to use this little hammer. I don't think I need a sledgehammer. All right. I don't think I need to go crazy. I think this will tap out. A couple of little taps. And you see, oh, whoa, look at that. Okay, so this is what we're going to use. I'm going to put that in there and put a wrench on it. So let's get under there and take out the fill plug first. So we know we can fill it back up. And then the drain plug. Okay, so there it is. See, we have the um, fill plug up here. And there it is. It's in there. And uh, I just put a wrench on that, loosen it up. Then I can take it out by hand. And then we'll do the same thing uh, down here on the drain plug, which I'm not sure how that's going to stay in because it's, it's vertical. So we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I think I'm going to have to magnetize it or something to get it to stay in it, but I don't know. I don't know if this is, is this aluminum? I don't know. So yeah, I think it's cast. I think it's cast iron. I think it'll, it'll, uh, it'll magnetize. So anyway, yeah, this one's tight to get to, but I think this little, um, the little piece of method is going to work about an inch and, a half and it's about an inch and a half long anything that's like around an inch should be fine all right so i'm going to take the plugs out and then uh and drain this and i'll get back to you all right so this is how i'm basically going to do it um on the bottom drain plug i'm just going to hold it like this and put a wrench on it and turn it now I'm going to have to build something like some kind of a plastic sheet or something to keep oil from going on into the, you know, the subframe here, all along the subframe here. I don't want this thing dumping into my subframe and making a mess in that. Ah, so I'm going to have to uh, fabricate something that will take this out. That will um, keep the oil from, from, from dumping in here. I don't want that. Jeez, they really pulled a number on us on this, unless there's some kind of a trick I don't see yet. 
So, all right, um, stay with me. I'm learning right along with you. All right, here's my my front differential funnel. Homemade makeshift. I just got a piece of plastic here. I cut it six inches by 12 inches and just bent it up on either side about three quarters of an inch and, and plopped two staples in it. That's it. And this is a neodymium magnet. I'm going to use this to, to, ooh, nice, to hold it to that uh, the subframe. I'm going to just, whoa, hold it so that I can uh, use my hands to remove the drain plug and maybe stabilize it but yeah let's see if it works all right let's let's see if it works all right so following my own rules let's see if i can get that fill plug to loosen up and turn first there we go all right so that's turned so we should be able to just do the rest by hand so we'll take that out and then we'll take out the drain plug yeah let's see here there we go so there is the uh the field plug. All right, so this is what it looks like with the wrench on the hex bit there. And this guy's tight, all right, tight. So I'm cheating. I got a little bit of a cheater here to crank on it, to crank it loose, because it is tight. Use the old mechanics trick. So let's see if I can break it, break it loose, because it is tight. Here we go. Ugh. Really there we go. Works pretty good. And once it's loose, yeah, it'll probably fall out. You can uh, probably just reach in there, see, like so, and just turn it. But I don't want it to all come out just yet. But yeah, once that's loose, you're good to go. So here's my little funnel setup. I don't think it, it won't stay, so I'm gonna have to hold it. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to show you. Uh, <laughs> Taking the plug out, but uh, I'll let you. I'll try to let you see it draining. It's gonna drain into this little pan here, and uh, yeah, yikes! Take that out and hope for the best. So here we go. Okay, so here it goes. I got the uh, got the plug out, and there's the drain. So now all I have to do is uh, fill it back up. It's, it didn't have very much in it, so we'll see how much this one takes compared to how much uh, came out. But I didn't get any oil in my subframe. <laughs> so that's, that's a win. There's my the drain plug, I just let it fall. It just went right into the funnel. Let's let this drain and then uh, put that back in. And... Uh, Fill it back up. All right, I'm gonna put the train plug back in. See if I can get, manipulate my hand in there and get that in. Start it in. I don't think I need the, the hex. All right, let's see if I can get the old drain plug back in. Just go in like so. And screw it in. And then we'll tighten it back up with the little hex tool that we cut that we tapped out. Uh, see if I can get it flush. And then just turn it. See if I can get those threads to line up. And then just turn it like that. So you just get in there and turn it like that. And that's how you get the drain plug back in. And then you just snug it up. Just like you would a oil filter. Don't go crazy. I don't know what the torque spec is. So don't ask. I don't know. I don't use a torque spec on stuff like this. Uh, we'll fill her up. And then we'll put the fill plug back in as well. And don't forget to snug up your drain plug. Nice. That crazy type, just like a little, nice little snug. Ah, and we'll get that. <sighs> All right, yeah, differential. It's dirty as well. Lots of shiny metal flakes in it, and it looks like it's 
maybe a cup it's not enough underfilled as well so yeah we'll see how much it takes all right here's my little pump pumping the uh gear oil in that's what it looks like going in so this is actually my third tube of 200 cc so we'll see i think this is probably gonna be the last one so i'll push that in and if it starts coming out i'll put the plug back in all right it started it started draining out after i pushed half of that in so that's going to be 700 cc's uh, okay two four six and then and a half 700 so yeah the rear took a thousand cc's and the front took 700 cc's you can convert that to whatever you want ounces liters uh, so i'm just gonna go ahead and screw this in tighten it up and we'll be good until actually 20,000 miles because I'm gonna do it again front and back the front wasn't even really that dirty it was a little bit dirty but it wasn't extremely dirty the back was filthy so anyway I guess that's it for this there's really no recap it just change your differential oil if you want to unless you want to change your differentials and the rear took a thousand cc's and the front took seven so hope this helps somebody and if it does great Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Till next time. Bye bye. And yes, I remember to tighten the fill plug for those with inquiring minds. Look at that. Ah, good and snug. All right. So, yes, I did remember and I did remember to take my tool out. So it doesn't pop out on the highway somewhere. That's important. You want to remember to cake this out so it doesn't end up in somebody's windshield. All right. Gone for real this time. Have a good day.